on everybody welcome back another episode of trey codes as always my name is trey hope and i'm here to talk about my most used flutter packages i had a brain freeze for a second someone on instagram asked me a while back what are my most used flutter packages and i thought this was a very good question because of course there's a lot of them out there i've worked with my fair share of them but when i had to really think about a list of the ones i use the most the ones that probably helped me out in various situations probably um, more than others uh, i was able to come up with 10 flutter packages that i'll be sharing with you today so hopefully if you've heard of these packages then good if you haven't hopefully you check them out and maybe they can be of some benefit to you so the first flutter package that i use the most is the image stack flutter package what this does is you can stack images pretty much image widgets on top of each other and then give the view that there's more of them behind it so you're stacking them right but you would only show maybe like the first three elements and then some icons to the right that would show it, like give the appearance that the images are stacked. Situation where you might see this is like a Facebook post where you want to display all the likes for this post. You wouldn't display all 50 users, but you might display the first three and then say plus 47 um, for the rest of the users that like that. So the image stack Flutter package allows you to do just that. My next favorite Flutter pa package is called Launch Review. What this does, it launches a modal in your app where users can be prompted to give feedback on your app. Well, it is leaving a comment, leaving a comment on Google Play Store, or Apple App Store. It's pretty helpful whenever you have like a successful event in your app and you wanna trigger users to be like, hey, go leave a review on my app. I like that one. Next one is the Flutter rating bar. I use this in my Critic app, but this gives you the ability to keep record of a user's rating. So it gives you five stars. You can select from zero up to five and you can do uh, halfway points. So technically it's like a, a 10 point system but it's pretty helpful whenever you want to keep record of like a rating that the user needs to give within your app for whatever reason so flutter rating bar is a good footer package to check out the next one that i like is called day and night switcher you know when you have light and dark modes in your app you would like the user to be able to go back and forth pretty easily and the day and night switcher flutter package allows you to do just that so Instead of, instead of having to worry about like all the themes and things like that, or worry if you have the right color schemes to make it look light and dark, the day and night switcher does that out of the box for you, saves a lot of time and just gives you that extra flexibility for your app. So day and night switcher. Next one I like to use is HTTP Flutter package. This one is pretty essential because I use it when I need to make API requests to third party APIs like Stripe, or if I have my own database that I'm building on the back end, I might submit a HTTP request to MongoDB or something like that. So I'm not sure why this package is almost necessary, but um, it's a downloadable Flutter package and I use it a lot. So make sure you check out HTTP if you haven't already. Um, the next package I use is called the image cropper. This allows you to crop images within your Flutter app. By default, when you have an image in the app, it's going to have, it's going to take on whatever dimensions it already has. And you can't really modify that. But with the image cropper package, you can enable it or you, you are allowed to change the dimensions however you so please, whether it be a square or two by three or whatever it is. But that's how that one works. The one that I like, another Flutter package that I use with that one a lot is called Image Picker. What Image Picker does gives you the, well, you have to ask for permission first from your users if you can access their file system. But once agreed to doing that, they can choose images on their phone from whatever device they're on. So Apple or, or Android, it allows them to go in and pick images and now you can modify or do whatever you want with that image in your Flutter app. So the image picker allows you to pick images from their gallery or camera or whatever it may be. The time ago package, a very, very unique one, and I haven't really seen too many of them like it, but it allows you the ability to compare two different times in like a string format. So for example, if you post something 10 days ago, sure you can post the date when it was posted, you know, but you could also just say this was posted 10 days ago or five minutes ago or three seconds ago or whatever it is, whatever arbitrary value it is, you can say it was posted this time ago. So hence the title time ago, right? Uh, but pretty helpful whenever you have like a timeline feature in your app and you wanna show posts that were maybe posted 10 seconds ago or whatever it may be. Very helpful. Next package is the new version Flutter package. Whenever you have new software or new update for your app, you want the user to know about that, right? You don't want them to be using old software because then crashes and errors and things like that will happen because they're not 
using the most updated software. So it's always good to make sure that your users are using the most updated software. With the new version of Flutter package, it prompts them to let them know, hey, there's a new version of this app. You wanna go download it? Most likely they're gonna say yes. So they'll download the new software and now your app is safe again, all right? And the final Flutter package that I use is called Shimmer. Shimmer gives a shimmering effect to whatever widget you specify as a child. So I do this a lot whenever I have like a list tile or something that is waiting on some asynchronous data to come back for a user profile. So while it's loading, I'll have the shimmer effect displayed over that list tile. So it gives the, the idea that this list tile is still waiting for information or whatever data to come back from the server. So it's good for UI purposes. All right, so that's 10 Flutter packages, the ones that I use the most when I really had to go look at my repository and see which ones were kind of across the board as far, to, as, far as my favorite and just what I was using frequently. Those are the 10 that came up the most. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know in the comments any Flutter packages that you use that you would suggest for me to check out as well. All right, until next time, have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Peace.